Hello everyone, this is RevaPoint. In this video, we will show you how to use Revo scans a keyframe editing on PCs. The A keyframe editing function in Revo scan enables frame by frame playback to check and edit raw point cloud data. So, what is the purpose of keyframe editing and when should it be used? The purpose of keyframe editing is to assist in removing erroneous or unnecessary raw data before point cloud fusion. For example, reference objects placed to assist in capturing object data can be directly deleted during keyframe editing, thereby improving subsequent model processing quality. Keyframe editing function is only available on the post-processing interface after the raw data is captured. Okay, let's start learning how to use it by looking at its basic operations. So, we have some raw model data ready for processing and have entered the post-processing page. Now, you can click here or on the keyframe editing icon to enter the keyframe editing interface. The list on the left displays all the captured keyframes and is set to get it all keyframes by default. By clicking on a frame, the software automatically toggles the A show only selected keyframes function, which is the green data we see now. If you turn this function off, the preview interface displays model data in green for the selected frame and in blue for all other frames. Here are the four playback control buttons, back, return to the first frame, play, and forward. In the keyframe list, we can click on a frame and click here to delete it. Alternatively, we can select multiple frames for deletion by pressing the left mouse button and dragging the mouse. Okay, now let's talk about using the tools in the selection toolbar. So, when unnecessary data is present in a keyframe, we can use the toolbar on the right to select and remove it. Let's use the polygon selection tool to select unwanted model data. After selecting the data, RevoScan automatically detects the selected data in all other frames as well. To remove the selected data, click the delete button in the toolbar. You can also use the delete button on any frame to delete all the frames with this unwanted data. Of course, you can also use the selection tools to edit individual keyframes. For example, select a single keyframe, use the rectangle selection tool to select the stray points, and then click delete. This will only remove the selected data in that frame. Thanks for watching this keyframe editing explainer. We'll be releasing more videos covering other software functions in the future.